I wrote about Vikings. I love Vikings. Mr. Collins didn't like it. I don't like Mr. Collins. I won't be sure. Oh, what? Guess we're gonna burn it. She has enough to worry about. Vikings are the best. They're tall and strong. They love conquering and fire and fire. Vikings are basically all kinds of awesome. I could really use some awesome right now. I got her old photo album out. I wanted to see Gran like I remember her when she was awesome. Cooking, painting together, playing board games together, and the holiday in Wales, I assume. Is that it? Every time I close my eyes, I see her. In that horrible bed, we're visiting the hospital later today. When we arrived, Gran was asleep. Her skin looked so thin, almost see-through, like tissue paper. She was Gran-shaped, but empty. I mean, that's silly, right, Journal? It's just Gran. But somehow it... isn't. It's not her! She woke up after a few minutes, but it didn't seem like she knew who we were. Why? Why is this happening? Why her? It isn't fair! Why, Journal? Gran still can't speak properly. It's so cruel. She can't tell us anything. Like what she wants to eat. Or how she feels. And what's worse, everyone pretends they're having a real conversation with her, but they're not! You're doing fine, Barbara, the doctor said to her. You just need some time. Hospitals should make you better! She's so ill now! I want her better now. Just wait. Time is a healer. I thought that was his job. I wish I could help her. It makes me so mad. Nurse said it was dinner. Mum had ordered Gran soup and a jacket potato. But when Gran tried to eat by herself, She kept dropping her cutlery. Then I noticed Mum had ordered her mushroom soup. Mushroom. Oh no, not the mushrooms. Gran calls them nature's bogeys.
I love mushrooms. Um. I guess we're gonna get rid of the mushrooms then. It is like mom doesn't even know her. I reminded mom about the mushrooms. She got that look and banged the spoon against the bowl. There was lip passing. But looking at Gran, I had to help her. I still had some loose change. So I ran, down to the entrance hall, where I'd seen a vending machine on the way in. Egg sandwich! Hurrying back to 305, I couldn't help but grin. They didn't let me back in! Adult talk. Wait outside. That's what they said. So I waited on a bench until Mum came out the room. She said nothing. Just took me to the car. We didn't speak a single word. Not at the car park. Not during our drive home. Dad had made pies for tea. I just wasn't hungry. Dad said I needed to eat. I said, if Gran wasn't going to eat, neither would I. He sent me to my room. I slammed the door really loudly and flumped onto my bed. I still had the egg sandwich. It was all mushed up. Everything is all mushed up. Spell slowed her fall. Thanks, down, Grumpy Pants. Down she went, tumbling, helpless. Then and there, Robin started to. Crash, scream, cry. I would say we're going to scream. As Robin hurtled through the darkness, her helplessness no longer made her feel scared. It made her feel frustrated, angry. She wanted answers.
The Jin's magic gently released her into the unknown. Now where am I? Okay, we're starting over with the fireflies. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Come on, get down. Uh, how am I triggering it without running into it? Maybe like that. Maybe simply like that. Ooh. Okay. Fire and flame wrapped her form. Hey! Stop that! Who is that? Lava gently bubbled, as if to mock her lack of progress. Can we make that rise? No. Looks like I can make that rise, though. No. Repair? No. Well, unlikely. Hope. Okay, uh, well, let's see. Oh, 
Well, apparently I can't do anything here. What happens if we go back though? Nothing, okay. Hmm. Well, I would say it's going to be rice, but... What do I need to make the lava rise? So I need to keep it in the lava, yeah. Uh -huh. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Now we're going to switch to break. I think I made a mistake. I would have needed that, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I would have needed that little pillar. Wait, where is it now? Wait, wait, what? Oh, and I thought I'm gonna pull out that pillar here. Oh, it stays down. Okay, okay, then, um... Hmm. I thought I was able to get that stone block with me on that floating rock. Ah, oh, obviously. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I need to make the lava rise here. Ah, okay. Ooh. Uh, yeah, but first we're gonna do it that way. And now we're gonna break that. Oop. But hey, we got it. Okay, I'm not able to grab on that though. Apparently, I'm... Oh, no, that works. Okay, then we're gonna do rise again into the lava. Yep. That's weird. Break. Hello? Now the game isn't zooming out. That's wonderful. I'm writing that again. Yeah, let's rewrite that. Good idea. So, break again. We're going to get that down. I'm getting on here. And we do rise on the lava here. There we go. So you need to make the lava basically boil and where it also should yeah, shoot up. Not again. The whole floor's going to give way. Uh oh. Ah! Right. Not listening or ignoring. I don't care. I have to stop her. Inside Robin was a white hot rage. Yeah. 
They all want to be left alone. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not fair. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Well, at least there's a pathway now, I guess. I really need to get out of here. A timely exit. Robin didn't quite know what she'd encountered. Sheesh. She's so angry. The thought stuck with Robin. A place to rest. Robin was beginning to feel the burn of loneliness. Ooh, we can burn things. Ah, better. Robin's thoughts drifted back to the burning giantess. Why would she be so full of rage? She must have felt... Misunderstood. Misunderstood. She smashes stuff. Because no one understands her. I get that. Robin vowed to be more understanding. If they met again. Alrighty, well, I'm sure that we are going to meet her again. One way or another. As the light hmm. pushed back the darkness, a heaviness lifted from her heart. Oh, blowing something up here. Okay, I see. I was already wondering why there was this string. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, that looks like a big bang. Mm. Oh no. Not again. Robin was adrift on the current. Without control. Lost on the flow of lava. Ooh. 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 I wasn't fast enough. Robin was adrift on the current. Without control. Lost on the flow of lava. It would take her where it wished. It's 
heating up. That can't be good. The burning river went faster. And faster. We got all the fireflies in this area. That's nice. Okay, we're gonna run. Run, Robin, run. Uh oh. Thundering steps shook the earth. This r reminds me of a certain level in. Uh, ooh, ooh. in Disney's Aladdin for the Super Nintendo. The was flying everywhere. And we're gonna go for another ride. Sunlight. Goodbye. I didn't mean to bother, bother you. Now look what you've done. You look. We're trapped, and it's all your fault. I hate this place, and I hate you! I hate you! Her anger <laughs> consumed itself. Huh? What happened to you? Dunno. Don't feel so angry now. Angry? What's there to be angry about? I wouldn't squash me if I were you. Think of the mess. The smell. The giantess smiled. As her anger left, it brought a change. No. You did it again. Lump's anger gone. Lump? Nice to meet you. It was a little flame demon. I'm Robin. Sorry I was so angry. Lump sorry too. <laughs> Lump scares Lump when Lump's so big. I guess we are going after our guy Lump now. Just wonder why do all of these angry people have an Eastern European accent? 